Hi, it's Michael Lafito, author of the book, Luxury Listing Specialist, and I'm the founder of the luxury designation known as Luxury Listing Specialist, or Luxury Specialist for short, L-U-X-E. You can check out more information on that by going to LuxuryListingSpecialist.com. We are doing more live events, so if you're interested in having us out to do a designation event in your marketplace, let us know. You'll see some pictures come across. Recently, we were in Denver uh, doing our training. We went to a $7 million and a $4.5 million home. And then we just got back from Texas as well, where we toured some properties. So if you're interested in that kind of experience, let us know. We'd be talk happy to talk to you about the requirements uh, to bring us out. We have some upcoming live luxury designation trainings. We're really excited. Again, if you're getting value from this video or other previous videos, or perhaps our book, or our podcast, or even our Luxury Fridays. Please, luxuryfridays.com, you'll see it come across. Please leave us a like, leave us a review. Again, on luxuryfridays.com, we're streaming live on multiple platforms, including YouTube, and we're answering your questions live, or if you have any stale listings, we're doing fresh eyes analysis live, so check that out. All right, again, so thank you again for those likes and those reviews. You know, we're talking about pre-qualifying buyers for your high-end and luxury properties today. So if you get if one of the multi-million dollar properties, every market's different where you need some type of proof of funds, but if you get some proof of funds, how do you know that they're legitimate? Again, we love to, you yeah, know, people easy. love the easy button and just take people at their word, but we're talking about trusting people, but you have to verify. Trust but verify in this video we're talking about that because you have a fiduciary responsibility as a listing agent. I like to call them marketing agents. As a marketing agent, you have a fiduciary responsibility to make sure pre-qualified people come through the door, especially in these upper end properties, these multi-million dollar properties. You know, recently I had a showing request for a six and a half million dollar listing I have, and this was the, the letter, I printed it out, but it's from private banker standby letter of credit. And there were so many red flags in this letter, um, including it wasn't on company letterhead, there was no website, the email address of the financial advisor was a Gmail account, and there were just a lot of things that didn't add up. So I let the agent know ahead of time that I'd be verifying and contacting them, and we did, and it still didn't feel comfortable with it, so we did some additional due diligence. So trust, but verify. And so, again, we tell buyers, agents all the time to provide us either proof of funds, a bank statement that's redacted the bank account number. Uh, we will call and verify that it's, in fact, true. The name of their banker, in that case, we'll call the bank just to verify that this person has an account. They can't share confidential information, but we do ask those things. And if they don't want to provide that, but they're a big name person, a big name celebrity, we'd be happy to sign an NDA and non-disclosure, and and then we can do our own due diligence to determine if we think they have the wherewithal to purchase the home. So trust, but verify. You know, it's no different. And by the way, you need to be pretty consistent with that because of fair housing. You don't want to ask one particular agent to provide proof of funds based on the buyer's name and ethnicity versus somebody else. So trust, verify, and be consistent with it. There's always exceptions to the rule, and you can go to the seller in that case, and they make the ultimate decision whether they say thumbs up or down on the showing. You know, you as an agent, no different. People are trying to verify whether you're legitimate or not. So there are some things that you as an agent can position yourself. As I mentioned earlier, um, I'm the author of the book, Luxury Listing Specialist, but we also wrote a book called Luxury, excuse me, Marketing Luxury. And this is a book that we offer our coaching clients and we've wrote the book. We're not gonna say you're, you're a, an author of a book, but you can contribute to Marketing Luxury and we get you hundreds of copies of the book and you're borrowing our credibility. If that's something you're interested in, shoot me an email, Michael at Marketing Luxury Group. My contact information just came across the screen. But there's a lot of things that you can do to build trust as well. So I tell agents all the time, the fastest way to become a leading, an expert, a leading authority is authorship. By writing a book or partnering up with an author like myself, that's number one. The second is public speaking. And the third is like borrowed credibility. So we were recently featured on the cover of a magazine as an agent. And so if I'm going on a listing appointment with the seller, you know, we're bringing some collateral so they realize, man, this guy isn't just a generalist, but they are a specialist. By the way, that's why we called, we came up with the name luxury specialist for our designation versus luxury 
generalist. So my name is Michael Lafito. Keep raising the bar and don't forget to join us on Fridays, luxuryfridays.com. And if you are curious to see why maybe we left as an agent, the number one hands down company in Illinois, and we joined the company that we did, we are growing. Our company is in 50 states and then 22 countries. So if you're curious and maybe you want to hear about joining our group, you can go to joinluxgroup.com, joinluxgroup.com. And our, our Fridays, our Luxury Fridays, they're brand agnostic. They're open to everybody. So we look forward to having you there. So keep proving others wrong, prove them wrong, right? And keep raising the bar. Michael Lafito, and have a great day.